Good day. My name is Debrel Delago, and for today, I'm just going to introduce our first topic: evaporation, transpiration, interception, and depression storage, which has eight subtopics that my groupmates will discuss. So first, what is evaporation, transpiration, interception, and depression storage? All of these are processes of hydrologic obstructions or losses from precipitation. Meaning, not all precipitation are going to surface runoff. It is because of these hyd hydrologic obstructions. <coughs> As we can see here, total losses is equals to precipitation minus surface runoff. So, as what I have said earlier, not all precipitation kay mahimo o runoff kay tungod sa total losses, which is ang um, total losses is is equivalent to evaporation, transpiration, interception, depression storage, and infiltration. So, what is hydrologic obstructions? Hydrologic obstructions is the collective term given to the various processes that act to remove water from the incoming precipitation before it leaves the watershed as runoff. So, these processes are evaporation, transpiration, interception, infiltration, depression storage, and detention storage. But for now, we only need to focus on these four processes, namely evaporation, transpiration, interception, and depression storage, since these are the only processes that are assigned to be discussed. Now, let's, let's discuss first the evaporation. So, evaporation is the process by which water from the land and water surfaces is converted into water vapor and returned to the atmosphere. So, evaporation occurs continually whenever the air is unsaturated and temperature are sufficiently high. When, you say, when we say unsaturated air, meaning the air contains very less amount of water vapor. So, evaporation plays a major role in determining the long-term water balance in a watershed. Pero, ang evaporation is usually insignificant in small watersheds for single term, uh, single storm events. And kung single storm event lang, um, it can be discounted when calculating the discharge from a given rainfall event. So, familiar naman tatang evaporation, no? Next is transpiration. So, it is the physical removal of water from the watershed by the life actions associated with the growth of vegetation. In the process of respiration, green plants consume water from the ground and transpire water vapor to the air through their foli foliage or leaves. So, para mas masabta na to, ang transpiration kanang mga water nga naadto sa ground will be absorbed by the roots and travels up through the plant and then kung mag-evaporate na sad ang water from leaves so makita nato dire sa diagram nato nga na small openings ang leaves mao na siya ang ginatawag og stomata where in dra mag mag exit ang water so as was the case with evaporation this type of of obstruction is significant when taken over a long period of time and has minimal effect upon the runoff resulting from a single, single storm event for a watershed. Next is interception. So interception is the removal of water that wets the and adheres to objects above ground such as buildings, trees, and vegetation. This water is subsequently removed from the surface through evaporation. So, interception is maunin siya tong mga water na dilim maabot sa, surface, sa ground surface. From the word adhere, so magstick lang siya sa paredre sa example na to sa picture kaning glass mga building and dre uh, makita man ni nato usually pagkahuman ka ng mga magulan sa mga car so the quantity of water removed 
through interception is usually not significant for an isolated storm. But when added over a period of time, it can be significant. So what is depression storage? Depression storage is a term applied to the water that is lost because it becomes trapped in the numerous small depressions that are characteristics of any natural surface. When water temporarily accumulates in a low point with no possibility for escape as runoff, the accumulation is re referred to as depression storage. So, mo siya tong mga tubig na mapundo sa surface na dili pantay ang elevation. So, some of our example here are potholes. And the precipitation stored in this depression is then either removed through infiltration into the ground or by evaporation. So, magba, it's either mag isip na put siya sa ground or mag evaporate ng Japan. So the, rel so, the relative importance of depression storage in determining the runoff from a given storm depends on the amount and intensity of precipitation in the storm. So, we already know what are evaporation, transpiration, interception, and depression storage. Uh, here in the diagram, makita na to nga asa ang mga total losses from precipitation padulong so from transpiration interception pressure storage oni siya tong mga wala na appeal sa surface runoff which is mag evaporate lang pud siya and next is for my references and that's all thank you